In this video, I'll show you how to create a mathematical formula question. So first thing we'll do is we'll put a name for our question. Then we'll type in some text. So in this case, we'll ask the users to calculate the derivative of, and I'll just insert an expression here. I'll type in 3x exponent 9. Now you could, of course, make this question algorithmic or even put different functions if you want where I put mine. Now below that you want to insert a response area. And here I'll change the type to mathematical formula on the left hand side. So the weighting I'll leave the default of 1, but below that you have to choose the subtype. Now there are 10 to choose from, and each has certain different properties which can be viewed and explored in the online documentation. Now in my case I'll choose the formula, but I could have chosen anything else such as equation, or a list of formula, chemical equation, etc. I will type in my correct answer. So in this case, the correct answer is 27 times x exponent 8. That's the derivative. So you type it in right there. And with our software, we have Maple underneath the hood. So it grades for mathematical equivalency automatically. So if the student's response is mathematically equivalent to ours, it's still marked correct. Click OK. There's the response area there. And I'll save it and show you a preview. So here I can see the question. I know that's 27. X exponent 8. How would I do? And I get it correct. And I can also switch to the equation editor view and type in my response here. And the great part is that in terms of our software is that we don't force students to enter in their response in a certain way. They don't have to use, you know, the multiplication symbol asterisk. They don't have to put a space character. They don't have to put it next to each other. It accepts all ways as long as it's equivalent to the correct response. And that's how you create a mathematical formula question.